Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, yes, tamu sana, tamu sana. Yes. Yesterday, Raila Amolo Odinga, through his Facebook account, made a post that is still drawing a lot of mixed reaction as I talk. Simply because upon Raila Amolo Odinga making that post yesterday, Mutai Nguni attached that post to his tweet. So the problem here is that some of the words Mutai Nguni might have used <laughs> in his tweet might have rubbed some of Raila's supporters the wrong way. So in this video right now, I want us to have a look at Raila's Facebook post yesterday, and then we compare it, or we have also a look at Mutai Nguni's tweet about that post. That's our analysis and discussion today. So if in case you've just bumped on this YouTube channel for the very first time, kindly subscribe and also give this video a like. Give it a like, please. Thank you. God bless you. Let's have a look at Raila's Facebook post yesterday. Raila Odinga. Great is thy faithfulness to me. And then you can see there Raila holding the Bible. Maybe he's reading some verses from the Bible. Hmm? That is Raila Amolo Odinga. Then after Raila had posted that, Mutai Nguni attached that post hmm, to his tweet. This is what Mutai Nguni tweeted. Mutai Nguni. Jesus taught us that if a man has 100 sheep and one gets lost, he will leave the 99 sheep in search of the lost sheep. Matthew 18. Raila was the lost sheep. Now we rejoice that he is back. Buana asifiwe. Keep going to church, Baba man. It is not the monopoly of the liar. Yeah, the liar here may be Mutai Nguni is just referring to William Ruto. So this tweet by Mutai Nguni, a good portion or a section of Raila supporters felt that this post <laughs> went beyond the boundaries. And some even went as far as reminding Mutai Nguni that Raila has been going to church. In fact, Raila is, in his childhood was baptized as an Anglican church, he was baptized as an Anglican Christian in the church missionary society, CMC in his childhood. And then as of now, Raila is a born again Christian, a communicant member of All Saints Cathedral in Nairobi. So some felt that maybe Mutai Nguni had not known of this, that Raila in his childhood was baptized as an Anglican church member, and as of now is still even a communicant at Olsen Cathedral, Nairobi. And then some also felt that Mutai Nguni is playing a, a holier-than-thou kind of an attitude, that it's only God who can read through a, mind, a man's heart and see whether the man is lost or not, not Mutai Nguni. But if you dig deep or you go, you look at this tweet keenly, I think Mutai Nguni here is not actually trying to maybe injure Raila's reputation. But Mutai Nguni is just trying to pass a message that church, going to church, is not the monopoly of an individual. That each and every person is free to go to church. I think that's what Mut the kind of message Mutai Nguni wanted to pass across to Kenyans. Mm -hmm. And the liar in this case is just referring to William Ruto. But again, ladies and gentlemen, if you dig deep, you go deeper through these streets, maybe there is a, a bigger message or completely a different message that Mutai Nguni wanted to achieve through this street. It might not even be the church thing. It might not even be the church thing. Because if you look at this street, you know, in Mount Kenya generally, the, for a very long period of time, for so many years, Raila has been considered as an outcast in Mount Kenya. In fact, even as of now when I'm talking, we have heard of some talks 
of a pork being sold in a mosque or to a Muslim. You know, Raila is being described as a pork. And some have also come out very boldly to state that to sell Raila in Mount Kenya is like selling a pork to a Muslim. So I think this tweet by Mutayangoni best fitted hmm, Raila's political scenario in Mount Kenya. Because for very many years, the people have been incited and antagonized against Raila Amolo Odinga. But as of now, through the handshake, Raila is in a working kind of a relationship with President Uhuru Migai Kenyatta. And that handshake alone, or rather that kind of a working agreement with Uhuru Kenyatta, has started now making Raila feel accepted in Mount Kenya. Mm -hmm. In fact, some, even some aspirants as of now, when I'm talking, have already even declared their candidature for various seats in Mount Kenya through ODM. That's an indication that as of now, the residents of Mount Kenya have started embracing and identifying with Raila Amolo Odinga. So if you look at this tweet by Mutai Nguyi, I am really persuaded that maybe the, the real message Mutai Nguyi maybe wanted to pass was the thing of Raila in central Kenya, or rather Raila in Mount Kenya region. Because now Mutai Nguyi is saying, if a man has 100 sheep and one gets lost, he will leave the 99 sheep in search of the lost sheep. Raila was the lost sheep. Now we rejoice that he is back. Buana Asifiwi. Keep going to church, Baba man. It is not the monopoly of that liar. Keep going to church. Raila has been going to church. But now if you look it in terms of Mount Kenya, and this is not far-fetched, ladies and gentlemen, Raila just started making some trips to Mount Kenya recently. So Mutai Nguni here, I strongly believe that he will agree with me if maybe he's watching this, that what Mutai Nguni means here is that he's actually trying to encourage Raila Amolo Odinga to be making frequent trips to Mount Kenya. Let him make frequent trips to Mount Kenya. Mount Kenya should not be a preserve of only maybe William Ruto. That's, the, that's what Mutai Nguni, in this case, might be trying to imply. Mm -hmm. Let Raila keep making those trips to Mount Kenya. And you know, those trips, ladies and gentlemen, Raila has been making to Mount Kenya, they are yielding fruits. Mm -hmm. And it's just a matter of time. As somebody who is keenly following politics, I strongly believe that as Raila continues with some of these trips to Mount Kenya, then most likely in the coming months, we are most likely going to see a drastic shift. In fact, this whole thing of a pork being sold to a Muslim, from where I sit, I believe that's just a myth. Mm. It's something that does not exist. Mm. Because I strongly believe that if Uhuru Kenyatta can introduce Raila and endorse Raila to the residents of Mount Kenya, then I don't think I don't see anything that will make it hard for the residents of Mount Kenya maybe to support or embrace Raila Amolo Odinga. And that's a, a kind of a discussion we've been having in this YouTube channel. Because I strongly believe that if Uhuru hmm, could manage to sell William Ruto to the residents of Mount Kenya, what, what is it that will make it very hard for Uhuru to sell or market Raila to the residents of Mount Kenya? Your guests can be as good as mine, ladies and gentlemen. So for today, let me just conclude by saying that this post of Mutai Nguyen was was on a lighter note, not actually meant to injure the reputation of Raila Amolo Odinga. Mutai Nguyen, as of now, is a very close defender and a very staunch defender of Raila Amolo Odinga and a very staunch defender of the handshake. I strongly believe that. So, before I conclude, let me just remind those who have bumped on this YouTube channel for the very first time. If you've just bumped here for the very first time, just as I did mention when we were starting, kindly subscribe and also give this video a like. Give it a like, please. Give it a like. And for those watching us outside of Kenya, for the very first time, 
if you are watching us out of, outside of Kenya for the very first time, drop a comment and let us know from which part of the globe you are also watching us from. Thank you. God bless you. And for our continued fans and subscribers in this YouTube channel, I'm very much humbled and very much grateful of your continued support. Continue giving this video likes. Continue dropping your comments because those are the only parameters YouTube uses to make sure they share these our videos so that it can reach a wide majority. Otherwise, God bless you. God bless Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, yes.